1965, 2015 50 Jahre FCM, lass die Fahne jetzt in Wind wehen Du bist unser Stolz, heb die Arme, lass den Club leben Die Bestie war nie weg, es wird für immer unser Club leben Wir stehen geschlossen hinter dir, die blaue Wand steht für den Osten Die Fans sind ja im Verein und verlassen die den Posten Hart auf Fossen, komm nach Magdeburg und du kannst es lieber kosten Wir sind verankert mit Hi guys, here we go, I'm Matt, the Trek Quitista um, This is my first ever FM series on YouTube we are going with FC Magdeburg if you haven't seen the little intro um, it's worth doing they've got a fair bit of history um, a team that I found on a documentary on BT about a year ago and I've never got around to playing with them so this episode all we're gonna do is have a quick look through at the squad um, history facilities money what I tend to do with my saves um, and then the next episode out later in the week we will do, um, we'll get pre-season out of the way and we'll get one one live live coming, probably the first game of the season. I'm tending to keep the videos nice and short, 10-15 um, minutes, um, recaps and then probably just one live comma game, uh, an episode. So, this is Magdeburg. Now, if you look at their history, they have won one European Cup Winners Cup. That was in 1974. They beat AFC Milan. Um, that is the the Regionella Nordost. This I think is the fourth tier of the German football. Um, and then that is that is one of the German that is the German Premier Division, East Germany Premier Division. Before in 1990, it came to it came to one league. The GDR is basically the East German Cup. And I'm not sure what that one is. Maybe a League Cup or something? I'm not sure. Basically, over the last few years, they have sort of like... Let me get the competitions up. Domestic leagues. These are all sort of like the third and fourth tier. Um, and even fifth tier of the German leagues. Um, <clears throat> I've chose these because... Their stadium is 27,000, and as you can see from the video, they've got a big fan base, huge fan base. Um, the fans are absolutely nuts. Um, they've got a big set of ultras called Block U. That intro is actually their fans. Uh, one of their fans is a famous German rapper, apparently, and he did a 50-year celebration back in, I think it was 2015. So that's what that that's me, an edited version of it. I will put a link to the full video in it because it, it's pretty good. Um, I'll put that in the description below. Um, so, we'll have a look at the squad. I'll tell you what, no, we'll look at the tactics first. Now, this is what I tend to play. This is what I played in the FM wet. But I also played it in most of my saves. Um, especially in FN80, it's worked quite well. Um, on the whole, it's pretty good. The only annoying thing for me is if we go back to the club you never want your key player as a right back but for that standard he's a pretty good bloody right back um, and he's pretty young he's only 24 but apart from that it's all pretty it's all pretty decent the team report the team report says Everything's pretty good. We've got seems to have got an half decent right winger. Um, my two midfielders, the best two, are both ball winners. Now I did do this with the Mallorca I played two ball winning midfielders on support when I won the league. So I'm going to give that a go. By the looks of it, we're quite a big team. All my strikers are either def one defensive forward, and I've got three target men, which is not a problem. I did play with target men in my last save. It was just a quick Man United one. And Lukaku was really good as a target man. If anything, I probably because I play target man in an advance forward. The others don't suit. If we go back onto the tactics screen. No one really suits the advance forward. So that it might be one area that I look at. Um, this guy's pretty good. But he plays an inverted wing back. Which I've never done before. So I might look at bringing in a left back. And everything else, apart from maybe a little bit of cover in the centre midfield, because the other players in here are deep-line deep midfielders, I think. Um, and I might look at getting 
and then maybe an advanced playmaker because I have a player with two ball winners I actually put an advanced playmaker in but apart from that the squad's pretty good it's got a balance of sort of like only there's not many I, I, what I tend to do is I don't tend to buy old old players unless they're sort of like legend so like a 35 year old Wayne Rooney or something like that that might happen at some point um, I do tend to go for young players and I do tend to go for um, whatever nationality we're playing in so I, do, I, I will see the majority of the squad turning out to be German I think they're all pretty much German I've got a Canadian a French a Frenchman I think he's the attacking playmaker but 5'10 and he's all I mean, 13s, 12s, 11s, nothing out flash, really. Um, I have called up one youngster. They've got a quite a decent under 19s, even though there's none in here. Um, in real life, the under 19s are pretty good. So I'm hoping with the youth recruitment being alright, we might get some regions through, hopefully. Um, facilities, as I said, 27,000 seat stadium. It's pretty new because it was rebuilt in 2006. We've got average youth junior coaching, average youth facilities, average which, to be fair, for a third tier club is pretty good. Um, the only thing is, we pay £356,000 a year stadium rent. But, which may be a problem in this division, but I think if we get promoted into Bundesliga 2 and then hopefully eventually the Bundesliga, that is not going to be an issue. Um, affiliates have they got any affiliates I haven't looked at that have they got affiliates mm. Eintracht Braunschweig might be able to get a couple of loanies off them I'm sure they were in the Bundesliga the season before no a few years ago 13-14 they were in it just for a year so they might have some half decent players we can get I do really want to try and get a strike in a strike in but looking at the finances no transfer budget get 70% because I might I might transfer a, a few probably if the if reserves I'll probably just offer them out when I'm free uh, wage but I've got a fair bit of decent wage budget I've got 8 grand spare um, which ain't bad considering what's the highest earner on the highest earner is on memory block I actually played this game for about a month now since the FM WAC I haven't picked up the game in about a month which is slightly worried so the highest earn is on 3,100 so hopefully I can get him maybe two or three players maybe even four if I can get rid of a few um, but finances for a third tier club I'm always sort of linking back to England so this is obviously league one in England I think if you had three million pound in the bank in the bank we've already got nearly a million pound in in um, uh, million pound in what was it? Oh, season tickets, yeah. Sponsorship, one hundred seventy-eight grand. That'll obviously, hopefully, get bigger as you as you progress. And then club membership as well. The fan base is pretty big. Staffing. What I tend to do is, if they're even remotely average, I get rid of them. Um, which I don't think is always a great move in the game. But I just, if I was a manager coming into Germany, I would want my own team. So I'm aiming to employ. I've uploaded the English down to League 2, French Division 1 and 2, Serie A, Serie B, La Liga and um, the, uh, whatever the championship or whatever it is in La Liga. I can't think what it's called off the top of my head. But I will aim to get a couple of English coaches in. I do tend to get look for the same coaches but I haven't looked at the staff yet. Um, I do like to take training seriously. I also like to keep a close eye on the budget. I'm always pretty keen on the budget. Uh, where are we staff? I've got five coaching staff. I ain't got a head of youth development, so I need to get one of them in. Coaching team. Who's my assistant? Ronnie Thielman. I, without me looking, before I sort of like sack them all, I'm going to have to have a look what I can get first. Dirk Keller, what a name. Big Dirky boy. Fitness 13. See, these are all average. Probably what it is for the league, to be honest. What's other? Coaching team. See, they're all second, second, first. But I always like to have this full green. Whatever league I'm in, 
full green. Um, Silvio Banquet, once again, average again. And Matthias Tisha, goalkeeping coach, not very good again. So I imagine all them will probably be let go. Now if you look at moi, what I tend to do is, I'm a continental pro coach or whatever that, but yeah, continental pro. Um, but what I tend to do is I give myself tactical and attacking, technical and mental, them stats. So I can always do shooting, tactics um, and attacking. Um, that's what I always tend to do. Especially when I'm on a small team, it will allow me to do a bit of coaching. I do like to make sure that my staff are top notch. Um, I did that um, first generator. Um, I don't know if it looks like me or not. Hasn't got my massive nose in it, I suppose, which I suppose is a bonus. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'll go through these pre season friendlies. I probably won't play them. Oh, young boys. That might be a bit of a money spinner. And then, I don't know how the league works. Let's have a quick look at how the league works. So it looks like top two, top two maybe get promoted, did I? There's only one, it's not it's not regionalised, so it's, it's literally like, you know, one league, one league through. Um, budget's not bad. The German prize money is actually a pretty good. That would be more than what you'd get in League One, I'd have thought. But I think you probably get more... Um, TV money, That's, I think in Germany that's including your TV money. So I'm going to have to be careful on the old budget. No non-EU non, no, no non players. Minimum of 12 player, German players in your squad. Bloody hell. Which is fine at the moment. I've got to make sure that I don't sign any um, too many foreigners. How many subs are allowed? 38 games, 3, three, three, win, uh, three points for a win, 1 draw standard. Number of teams, 20. Um... Seven subs named, so I've got what I basically I can have six foreigners, I suppose, in the squad, but none in you. Match squad must have at least four German under 23 players, which is good. I do like to always have a couple of youngsters on the bench. If we're winning, I've got a host prospect, ooh, top prospect, I like to get them on and get them some game time. Um, promotion top two teams win promotion to two Bundesliga, B team's not a problem. Team in third place qualifies from the Bundesliga. I think you then play, if you finish third, I think you do a two-legger against the team that finishes 16th, I think. Now, the overall plan is to get into the Bundesliga, where this team, Bayern Munich, dominate. I'm not going to set myself targets five years, I want to be winning Champions Leagues and all that, because I act like that good in the game. Um, I'm just hoping that in the first ever FM save, <laughs> I don't get sacked in the first six months. I do tend to have a sort of like a 60-40 ratio of having good saves to bad saves. I'm actually due a bad one. But I'm hoping this one's going to be decent. Um, so that's it, guys. I will, obviously there's no transfer out in yet. I will do a little, next episode, I'll do a little transfer recap. Um, show you what staff in, staff out. Um, very quick rundown of the friendlies that I've gone. I will probably change my friendlies when it comes to when it comes to friendlies. I do like to play rubbish teams. Um, normally, sort of like part-time teams. Might leave them two in, and then just make sure them three are more than winnable um, before we start. Ooh, look at that draw. That's my draw for the uh, German Cup. But money spinner, hopefully. Um, I think that's the only. I think that's the only competitions that are in. Yeah, they just have one cup in Germany now. In real life, Magdeburg played Dortmund. You should see. Go on YouTube, see the videos of the the crowd. The crowd were absolutely mental. I think it was a fair bit of trouble. Um. So that's it, guys. Um. If you like the video, please like. Any tips, this is as I said, my first ever video, so any comments will be muchly appreciated. And please subscribe. Um, and hopefully I'll get a new video out in the... This is going to go out tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, I'm hoping to get a week another video done over the weekend. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. See you later.